Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have a story to tell you about my early youth. Maybe I was four years old and I was taking a nap in the afternoon uh, on my parents' bed. This, it was a special treat. I was allowed to be there uh, for a few minutes that day. And I was deeply sound asleep. And all of a sudden I woke up and there were three strange young children bouncing up and down, standing at the foot of the bed on, on the mattress and bouncing up and down and cheering and yelling at me to wake up, that it was time to wake up. I woke up and I became very, very angry. I could feel my heart clenching tight and then letting go and clenching tight like this again and then letting go. I was that angry. So I got up and I looked out the window of the bedroom. Now my parents' bedroom gave onto the front driveway of our childhood home. And so they could see anyone that came up the country road at night and they could protect the rest of us from whoever that was if need be. So standing in the driveway was my mother confronting a woman that uh, was uninvited to come to the house with her children, apparently. And that woman had an energy I had not run into before. And uh, the children had an energy that I had not run into before. And, and it, was, it was just very upsetting to me, this energy. At the age of four, I didn't know what it was. But in later years, I found out that that woman was reputed to be a witch or a black magic woman. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but at that moment it, that energy felt like that to me, apparently. Um, even today, uh, it was such a shock that even today if I take a nap in the afternoon, I very often wake up with the sound of those children's voices in my ears. It seemed to me in later years, on learning more about those types of energies that the woman and her children conveyed that most likely my mother was having trouble holding her own against this intruding woman down in the driveway at that time. So I got to thinking there may be children today, um, good children of faith, of Christian faith, who are forced to confront these energies in their young childhood today and who, who don't, don't really know what to do about it. So I thought maybe the exorcism words of St. Benedict of Nursia might help out. So I'm here today to speak those words one more time for the young people, just in case they need them. You speak them not towards the people conveying the energy, but towards the beings that are that are circling around them, that are forcing them into this energy mold. So never speak uh, words of exorcism exactly at a person or human being because human beings are always victimized, you see. They're always um, the victims of, of these, of these very bad be beings that sometimes seem to pick on humans, whether they be grown-ups or maybe even children. So, here are the words to say. You can think of a dragon, because it's the words speak of a dragon, and so or of a reptile, of a snake, or um, a lizard, or a dragon with wings, you know, as in the stories. Think of that as the thing that you're trying to get to go away. Hear the words. Crux sacra sit mihi lux. Non draco sit mihi dux. Vade retro satana. Num quam suade mihi vana. Sunt mala quae libas. Ipse venena bibas. 
those are the words, the kind of magic words, because they convey an image and they are rhymed. And so our subconscious minds um, are soothed by them at the same time as our conscious minds know the words to say. So they help us become more integrated in our in our subconscious and conscious minds and to to speak as one integrated energy what it is that we wish to receive as energy from the universe and to project as energy from the universe. Well, here's the translation. Krux sacra sit mihi lux. May the Holy Cross be my light. Non draco sit mihi dux. Let not the dragon be my guide or leader. Vade retro satana. Step back, Satan. Num quam suade mihi vana. Never tempt me with vain things. Sunt mala qua e libas. What you offer me is evil. Ib se nena bibas. You drink the poison yourself. Well, these are the words and and I will, I will read you the English Wikipedia translation in case you, that's a little easier. And I'll read it all one at one time like this. Let the Holy Cross be my light. Let not the dragon be my guide. Step back, Satan. Never tempt me with vain things. What you offer me is evil. You drink the poison yourself. So if you prefer just the English translation, I think it's all right to do that. If you prefer the Latin translation, which to me has more power to it, then that's fine too. Well, I hope this never comes up for you. You never have to do it. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.